Hello and happy Monday. I thought for this week's Monday video, I could show you guys what I consider my winter to spring transition wardrobe. So many of you know that I live in Canada, Ontario to be specific. So it's really hard to just say like, this is what you should be wearing in the winter or in the spring or during this transition time. Because honestly, it's different even if you are living in the same province. And for me personally, where I am, it'll be like minus 15 in the morning when I head off to work and then it will dip to maybe like plus two, plus four, plus 10 in the afternoon when I'm heading home. So it's so hard to dress for Canadian weather because it is so sporadic sometimes. This video is going to be specifically talking about my work wardrobe. I guess the dress code at my workplace is more business casual. Sometimes it can be business professional if I know I'm going to um, a fancy meeting or a conference, but day to day it is fairly business casual. So I can't wear jeans. I still have to look put together, but I can be a little bit flexible in the sense that I don't have to wear a blazer every single day. So like I said, this video is going to be focused on my work wear because during this transitional weather, my weekend wear is pretty much the same. It is jeans, a sweater, maybe a light coat and some boots, but I do like to change it up a little for work. That being said, let's move on to the outfits. Let's start with outerwear because outerwear changes very rapidly in the winter transition to spring season. So first of all, we have the parka and the parka is a very popular winter staple for me, but sometimes I do have to occasionally pull it out during the transition to spring. As you may have already guessed, I do not dress very glamorously in the winter season and that's mainly because I dress for the weather, so I like to be warm, I choose warmth over fashion. Of course, I do bring cute shoes to work to change into. When the weather gets slightly warmer but is still cool, I will trade the parka in for a lighter down jacket. I just think they're really nice and versatile, great for work and also the weekend. The weather can go from cold to wet very quickly. So when it is raining, I like to switch to a water repellent light jacket and rain boots. And of course, on the days when you don't have to worry about precipitation, it always feels great to pull out a really great cashmere wool blend coat. On the days where I still want to look cute, but it's still a little cold, that is when this ultra light down jacket from Uniqlo shines. It's so thin yet warm that it's perfect to layer under this camel coat. And it's also a great layering piece for this raincoat. I love knitwear as you guys know, but it's also a staple piece I have in my wardrobe for the spring. It is really all about finding a great breathable fabric, which is why I'm absolutely obsessed with these Uniqlo cotton cashmere sweaters. I have them in a bunch of different colorways now, mint, yellow, coral. It's almost as if an Easter egg threw up in my closet, but the pastels are beautiful for spring. I typically don't wear the dark color sweaters in the springtime. However, if I do, I will pair it with a lighter pant like this. Spring is also when I like to bust out some cute blouses. I like a classic blouse, so I usually stick to neutrals, but this has a little something extra with the necktie. I also like to spice up my spring wardrobe with a printed blouse. I like this one because it's still a neutral, but there is some interest with the floral design. Of course, because we are in this transition period, if it does get a bit chilly, you can always throw a cashmere sweater over it. I also like to bust out my short sleeve sweaters. You know, I love these short sleeve sweaters because they are so versatile. You can wear them in the spring and then also transition them into the summertime. I love to pair these with trousers, but they also look great with skirts. Because it is still a bit cooler, I like to pair my skirts with opaque tights. And if I'm wearing a navy skirt like this, I will just wear a black tight and make sure my shoes match. So that's a quick little summary on what I wear to work during this transitional period. You always can't forget the outerwear. Sometimes I do bring two different coats with me or jackets with me to work. One a little bit thicker in the morning if it's a bit colder, and then in the afternoon I have a lighter one. It really just depends on 
what the weather is going to be that day. I will be seeing you guys again on Thursday for another video and it's going to be all about these Essie Treat Love color polishes because my collection is growing and I get a lot of questions about these and how I like them on my Instagram so I thought I would show you guys how they look on and show you my favorite colors. I am wearing, in case you're wondering, this shade which is indigo for it. It's not really an indigo color, right? But it is very pretty. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about these then come back on Thursday. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!